Hawaii and happy 2021. Feels like we're off to a great start. I'm Wendy Lowe and I shall be your host as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from my home office in Makiki and from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu. Think Tech Hawaii showcases diverse topics with very colorful hosts like me. <laughs> no. Well, we welcome you to join us daily as Jay Fidel, our boss, makes sure that we have high quality content to share with you. Last year, when I was visiting the Ala Moana Shopping Center, I was intrigued when I stopped into this store called Hero. I soon learned what they were marketing and I was very, very intrigued. Today, I want to share with you how they are fighting the invisible enemy and how you too can rise up and join the fight and become a hero. What I would like you to take away from today's talk is that this is a new year a year of action. We need to work together, <clears throat> excuse me, and take our Hawaii back. It's time to take our peace of mind back as well. Make your New Year's resolution to be a part of the solution. I'd like to introduce to you the founders of Hero, David Yonamini and Dustin Hara. Aloha, guys. Aloha. All righty. But before we get started, I want you to make sure that you all wait to the end of this show because as these fine men, they're, they're just so generous and brilliant. They have a special giveaway for all businesses. So stay tuned towards the end. But before we get started, I'd like to play for you this video to introduce to you my hero. Let this be your hero too. Let's we have it. all been impacted by the pandemic. With businesses closed, millions have lost their jobs and frustration is on the rise. Thousands of lives taken too early. Enough is enough. It's time to take back our power. It's time to fight. Introducing Nano Atmospheric Sanitization, our revolutionary solution that is safe, non-toxic, and yet deadly to viruses. Make your New Year's resolution to be a part of the solution. Rise up and become a hero today. Alrighty, alrighty, are we ready, Hawaii, to find out who and what is the hero? So I'd like to introduce again David Yonamini and Dustin Hara to talk more about their hero, which could be your hero as well. So who is Hero and what is your company's mission, guys? Well, thank you so much, Wendy, for having us on here. Right. Um, so excited to be on Think Tank Hawaii and take back your health, right? And uh, you know, talking about hero, I think to really know about who we are and where we come from is to kind of look at where we are today and uh you know kind of struggling with this COVID-19 pandemic you know it's still COVID-19 but still we're in 2021 right <laughs> and you look at where we are today I mean we're still in tier two I know there's there's a lot of threats now of us get possibly going back to tier one um you know we looked at what, what was going on in the marketplace we, we saw stores closed we saw uh weddings canceled we were we were observing all these different um these different tragedies, really, if you look at it, you know, unnecessary people, you know, underlining conditions. Now we're talking about COVID long. I'm not sure if you guys have even heard of that before, but they're talking about how 76%, this is a Lancet article that was just uh, produced uh, just a few days ago that, you know, of the first 1500 people who got sick in Wuhan, uh, over 76% of them still have symptoms today. So, you know, we're talking about something that's not temporary. We're not talking about something that's going to be, you know, uh, here today, gone tomorrow. We're talking about something we're, we're, we're going to have to learn how to live with. And so kind of looking at our hero's mission, our purpose, we started to kind of look a little bit more about what we could do and how we could get involved. And, you know, I'd love Dustin to touch a little bit about our mission and uh, what, what we're doing today to really combat that. Uh, absolutely. You know, all of David's points um, are, are truly valid. And uh, we started... Uh, the idea of Hero and being able to offer, you know, sanitization solutions that were safe, uh, non-toxic and effective, uh, truly to just help Hawaii. You know, we're both local born, uh, local boys, small business owners, and uh, we were really impacted during the shutdowns when they took place. And there was a moment, you know, when uh, we had to make a decision that we were either going to be a part of the solution or we were going to just be a part of the problem. And I'm glad to see that we're here today to be able to offer a great solution through through our hero brand and products. Wow, that's exciting. Two young local boys, business owners, finding a solution to the problem of this, uh, whatever we want to name it, long, short, COVID, all right? <laughs> but it's just terrible. And here we are, like you said, in 2021. So guys, how do we fight back against the virus? Well, I think it's, it's great to look at, Wendy, is... Uh, 
what's being out there, what's being used out there today. And uh, you know, we've seen it when we go to, out to eat. We see it when we go out to places of, of, of you know, whether it's places of worship or places of, of business where people have to spray, you know, they, they're spraying these tables down with toxic, volatile, organic compounds. They're using pesticides. They're using ammonias. They're using all these things because it's all they know how to do. I mean, look at the people today who are professionally charging to, to clean. They're, these guys weren't COVID cleaners before this. They weren't viral experts. They were pest control companies, mold remediation, and a lot of them were, uh, uh, you know, landscaping companies. And so you look at what they've been using and, and this whole idea of when we use, um, when, you, when you go to a restaurant, you see them spray this stuff down. They're using sometimes the same towel to wipe down multiple tables. I mean, this is, this is, the, these are, these are solutions prior to COVID that we were using. These can't be solutions we use with COVID, right? Mm -hmm. And so taking a look at, you know, how do we fight this virus? What is the solution? I, you know, I, I, gosh, it, cer it certainly isn't what we're using today. <laughs> right. I mean, we could have a conversation just on that, you know, the dirty towel that is overused and just is left on the side yep. to, to have more of whatever they cleaned up or thought they cleaned up to fester. And then not to mention, go back to the next table and spread it further. So in times like this, these guys, we need a hero. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so, you know, um, like, like David mentioned, part, part of the, the reason we uh, put Hero together was to discover uh, and offer a solution that would be safe, that would be non-toxic uh, and all natural. And uh, we are really, really excited, you know, to present and share with uh, all of the ThinkTech viewers uh, today our broad spectrum, uh, complete sanitization systems and solution. It's a two part system. Uh, one part is with HOCL and the secondary part is with TEG. Uh, and these are some phenomenal solutions that have been around for quite some time. And um, it's really exciting to, you know, to make them available to the people here in Hawaii. You know, um, when I stopped by and I wanted to learn who was my hero and what it all entailed, you know, I sat back and I says, okay, just another company doing more of what people are <laughs> buying alcohol for, whatever they're buying to clean. And I thought, oh, okay, more chemicals. We need a hazmat suit to clean up, et cetera. Yeah. And then when I asked you the question, well, what's in this that you're spraying? So, and that's why I'm inviting you to be here because I was so intrigued with the simplicity of this is ageless um, sanitation that you yeah. just brought to the forefront. So I don't want to spill the beans. I want you to tell us what is HOCL and how does it work? Well, you know, that's a great question, Wendy. I look at what is HOCL, right? And HOCL stands for something called hypochlorous acid. Mm -hmm. Now, when I first heard that, I was a little taken back. I said, oh, oh no, acid, oh no, what are we doing? And um, I looked, you know, as we did more research about what is HOCL and how it's made is what really got us excited. Because if you look at what uh, HOCL is, HOCL is something that our bodies naturally create to fight infection as well as, uh, you know, foreign entities in the body. Uh, on top of that, HOCL, it, the way, so the way it's made, uh, that we make it, is we use something called this uh, non-iodized salt distilled white vinegar and our sidekick generator and within five minutes you can have a solution that's 80 times more powerful than bleach yes. yet completely pet plant and people safe in fact this stuff is so good against microorganisms right now in south korea that's what they're using in japan they're using this you can't go into a classroom or a business without getting sprayed by this uh, you know getting getting this stuff on you so that we can help fight and and and, and more importantly bring peace of mind to people that yes. we're not talking about stuff that's going to have long lasting effects cancer causing or carcinogen based solutions we're talking about stuff that is is our body naturally creates mm -hmm. and that's what gets us really excited about sharing our mission and sharing our, our solutions with people wow that's so exciting and again i'm going to ask you again so you mean to tell me that when i sat there and i said how did the, how did you get this chemical right i said chemical and you <laughs> told me it was basically the salt <laughs> it was the vinegar and water and then you put it through that process I could not believe it. And so I had to ask you again, I'm gonna ask you again. So what is HOCL and how does it work? I mean, is it that simple guys, <laughs> right? It is. It is. It, it really <laughs> is. And it, this is stuff that's been, you know, that, that, that the USDA has researched, the FDA has researched. I mean, it's got so much credibility as well as the EPA. It's on the EPA uh, endless for something that's highly effective against COVID-19. Right. Wow. And, you know, just to think, um, all my naturopathic friends, and I'm surrounded by many of them, as they take their health back, they often, they always buy vinegar in gallons. 
and they use it daily to clean, to wash clothes. They have been using it forever. And that you two young men have a device, have devised a way to, you know, put, and I, I know that you didn't come up with it, but you took it and you made it more readily available for businesses, as well as people like myself to have a system that's so simple and non, um, I, I'm not afraid to use it. In fact, I have my little one here. Oh, well, basically. <laughs> I don't know who this is. I don't know if you can catch that, but that's the, the spray and it's, it's just vinegar, water, and salt, but through a process. And so when we go to places, I mean, if I was a germaphobic, and there are many of them out there, and you see them coming out of the closet more and more now, they just go ahead and wipe down everything, their chopsticks or spoon, their immediate area where they're going to be dining, especially in public um, facilities. And I tell you, what peace of mind would this bring to everyone, for a mommy with her kids, for our, you know, just a family, anyone going out and about. And so for this, guys, I'm ever so grateful to you because it is a phenomenal uh, piece, of, a, a tool for me to have sense of uh, security, peace of mind, and it's a very amazing gift that we can share with everyone. And so again, I'm just going to ask you one more time, what is HOCL? And is, I mean, is it like really that safe? I mean, I know vinegar and salt is good, right? It's so simple. But tell me, I mean, really, guys, is that all it is? <laughs> <laughs> you know, looking at it, um, gosh, I mean, it's 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 used currently by um, you know uh, eye doctors, dentists. They use this stuff during surgery. Even. Yeah. I mean, it's something that's so amazing. And and and, and we, when we found it, we said, I can't believe the, well, the first thing we said, like, we can't believe that this isn't being used more frequently and, right. and more popular, right? Because we're talking about something that literally, I mean, you could use it in your eyes, you could use it in your mouth. I mean, they use it all over the place, right? <laughs> right. I mean, I'm going to go somewhere where you're not even going, but. Vinegar and water, that's the best douche in town. Oh, no, did I just say that? Oops. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Don't go there. So, anyway. We wouldn't know about that. We wouldn't know about it. <laughs> well, now you know, guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, we want to go on further. And so, now there's another technology that you need to uh, introduce and share with us a little bit. So, what is TEG? And can you share with us a little bit more about the hero NAS, which is, I thought you had a speech impediment where you were telling me NAS, NAS, I'm like, what is he saying? N-A-S, tech solution. So take it away, guys, educate us. Awesome, uh, uh, excellent question. You know, part of uh, how we develop this business is we really believe in a Japanese Kaizen method called um, Easy Five method of doing business. At Easy Five, you can actually see it right there up behind David. Uh, that stands for easy, effective, efficient, and empowering everyone. And you'll see, uh, you know, this method of doing business all the way from how we use our systems to how easy they are to understand uh, and to how effective they are. And so NAS uh, Tech stands for Nano Atmospheric Sanitization. Uh, and what, you know, has allowed us to create this phenomenal sanitization solution uh, is one of the two-part solutions. We talked about HOCL. Uh, the second part is TEG. TEG stands for triethylene glycol. Um, it's a blend of several different glycols, and it's been around for almost a century, uh, backed and used by some very credible government associations, uh, such as the FAA. I don't know if you folks have ever been on uh, a commercial flight before and noticed that there's a little bit of a mist or, a, or a, a, a noticeable cloud coming out of the air conditioning sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been using triethylene glycol for quite some time as a sanitization solution in an aerial form to not only sanitize and treat the air around us, but also offer complete sanitization of a space. And so we're you know, real believers in being able to offer a double-edged sword uh, where not only with HOCL we can sanitize surfaces and contact areas, but also giving you know all of our heroes, all of Hawaii, the ability to sanitize the airspace around us um, to offer complete sanitization. Wow! And you know, um, I know that once I was when you were trying to explain all this to me, it was so much for me to absorb. I tried my best with my little brain, but what really <laughs> um, what really impressed me as well was with this system because it's airborne, and I think. We were, I was I'm wondering, do you turn off the vents when you do this system? And you said, no, by all means, no, Miss Lowe. We leave the vents on because we want this, this, um, the spray, the, the, the mist 
to go into the systems and tell me what you told me. What does it do to our air, our vents, and our systems, our air ducts? Sure, uh, that's a great question. You know, uh, one of the, along with the benefit of remediation and mitigation against, you know, the risk to exposure to the COVID virus, there are tons of other additional benefits, you know, with these solutions. Mold and mildew remediation, um, it kills all sorts of other pathogens, microorganisms, viral agents. Um, it has a whole, there's a whole list, you know, listed by many of the government agencies that we have mentioned before uh, to the efficacy of triethylene glycol and also HOCL. So we encourage our customers, our clients, to be able to cycle and use and apply the dry cloud of the Nostec solution um, all throughout their facilities, you know, including the airspace that you're in, your, your AC ducting, your venting system. Um, you know, we want it to cycle. We want it to be able to treat and, and offer a complete uh, sanitization of their entire space. Well, see, um, being the pocket that I am, I thought that was a bonus <laughs> and a half because not only are you going to sanitize the immediate area, but you're able to clean where no one goes, where no man goes, <laughs> right? The ducts, the air vents. And what is that? Why is that so important, businesses? Is because that duct is so dirty, pilau, right? right? And yet it recycles the air that we all breathe and we wonder why our employees are not at the highest performance. Yes. It's because maybe our ducts could be dirty or a home or a nest of mold, black mold to, not, uh, to say that Absolutely. our employees and staff are constantly breathing. Absolutely. And so, yeah. and you love your employees and you want the highest performance out of them, well then give them the best systems that can perform for them to give you the best environment for them to That's perform right. in. That's right. You know, Absolutely. So I thought that was a great bonus. And and then, so guys, do you guys look cute in your hazmat suit? Do you guys have to dress up and wear oh, hazmat? No. <laughs> as, as, you, as you see, I have a three layer hazmat suit on today. <laughs> yeah, that's the Aloha hazmat suit right here. Right? <laughs> right? I mean, because I, I remember when I was listening to you guys talk to me, I remember the first when, when COVID was introduced and my church, they showed a video that says, don't worry church members, we have your back. And then they had these guys with hazmat suit come out and spray all over. I'm thinking like, OMG, why are they in hazmat suits? That means if I'm on the other side receiving it, shouldn't I be in a hazmat suit too? So That's that right. was a concern of mine. That's and right. um, when you guys told me that you guys um, don't have hazmat suits, I thought, okay, you really got me now. Either you're lying or this thing is amazing, <laughs> right? Right. That's well, a, you know, that's a, that's a great point. And um, once again, you know, part, part of our whole mission is to be able to provide solutions that are safe and non-toxic. You know, the everyday person doesn't have the ability to put on a hazmat suit at any given right. moment, nor the resources, right, or the funds to be able to afford professional grade industrial equipment. And uh, so, you know, we're really excited to be able to offer, you know, to, to the Hawaii market systems and solutions that are easy to use, that are affordable, uh, and once again, that are safe for you and, and your ohana. There's that word again, pake, a.k.a. affordable, right? So yeah. guys, this, I mean, right now we're hurting. Everyone's hurting financially. So we want the best bang for our buck. So you use a system like this. As I said, it gets most everywhere and the vents as well. So that's one less more cost that you can eliminate as you prepare and as you love your employees and your, your customers as well. So... Now, let me ask you, so how would we know that the system is safe? I mean, I hear it from you and I, you know, I have to take your word for it. And just tell me what kind of certifications does this product have? Well, if you look at, uh, you know, Dustin said a, a really good one earlier, Wendy, when he talked about, he kind of touched on the FAA, right? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. FAA currently uses that in airplanes all across the world, as well as different yeah. countries are using this. Mm -hmm. um, and they're, they're exposing people uh, on a regular basis to this. Um, you know, through the uh, also American Journal of Health and Science, there have been no reports of TEG having any type of effect at all, whether it be long lasting or short term, there's been no effect at all by people being exposed to it. But what's exciting about the National uh, Library of Public Health, they talk about how, you know, this TEG vapor, not only is it highly effective, but the idea is that it's highly effective and people can be in it. Mm -hmm. People can be in it while it's going. And that's, that was what's exciting to me is that, that literally you can have this running either while people are still in the, in, you know, inside or whether or not uh, it's something overnight, but it's something that's going to be consistently working. It even have, has a long lasting effect uh, hours afterwards. Mm -hmm. I mean, gosh, what a great situation, but because with this whole COVID-19 situation that's happening right now, we need something that can, can be done frequently, mm -hmm. 
as well as it can be used consistently. Yes. Right. You, you know, you, you can't have someone soup in a hazmat suit. Uh, you know, if someone walks into your store and starts coughing, you can't go, okay, well, it's time to hook up the suit, right? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. We need something that can be done immediately. And you can't just right. close your doors because someone was coughing in, in your store, right? So we wanted to be able to bring that peace of mind to people and just know that they can be doing something frequently and consistently. Yes. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because I remember when I went into your store, I thought, wow, this is a cool place. It looks like a disco. You have this this thing when i walked by it was on sensor i believe and it just shot a gust of mist around me and then you were like looking with a smile saying wow there we go we just sanitized another one another customer she's clean she can come in now i'm like what are you smiling about you that so you guys i was stranger walking into your store and you knew i came in clean because that thing turned on and it just sprayed and it misted me and so you were confident enough to know that I was taken care of and um i like that so much and when i was telling my friend about it um she lives over there in one of those apartments at the end of the the mall and she has a unit she bought a unit and it's by her front door because she is a germaphobic so she has a system so that her guests when they go in and out when her kids go in and out she can rest feel uh, rest assured that her home is safe and she has that peace of mind. And I thought to myself, how wonderful is this to have that sense of security, even That's with right. your home? That's is right. that correct, guys? Right? That's right, absolutely. You know, um, you, you hit on it uh, right on the nose, Wendy. It's, it's truly about peace of mind. And that's, you know, one of the core values of our mission, like I mentioned, you know, when we first uh, started sharing a little bit about who we are, is we really have a mission to help the people of Hawaii uh, take back their peace of mind because you know what is the cost of peace of mind and what does that look like and um, you know we're really excited that we can be a part of the solution to helping people get their peace of mind back. Amen and you know there's no price for peace of mind we just and we just we just need it especially now you know that's another issue right if we are stressing about these things which we shouldn't stress about that breaks down our body. And so we're easily, more easily attacked by different things out there. But by taking care of that uh, as a precautionary method and cleaning up the environment that we live in as well, our immediate homes where we spend a lot of time, I think this is, or even our offices and businesses, um, I think this is very, very important. And um, I also remember you mentioning, and I don't know if it came to fruition yet, but you were mentioning that there, you're going to offer some of the customers at Alamana shopping in the mall. Did that uh, materialize yet or are we still working on that where you would have the booth and they would go and be able to walk oh, into that yes. booth uh, it's funny you mentioned that, Wendy. We actually were just at the location yesterday, uh, getting it sized up and yep. fitted. Um, you know, I, I wish we could share you some of the pictures we took, but it looked phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, it was just the, 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 we had the VP of Brookfield here as well as one of the, the leasing managers there just to scope it out and seeing how, uh, you know, how it would work. And as we were setting it up just to do a display, we actually had uh, like literally uh, you know, almost every person who walked by there was coming and sanitizing yeah. their hands. They were sanitizing their goods. It was it really, you could see the peace of mind on people's face. They were just like, wow, I can't believe Alamana would do, uh, you know, put this kind of amenity together for the mall and for the, the people either working there as well as the customers that were coming in. Because as we know with the case counts where they are today, we have to do everything we can as a community to fight this and to and to get get our get our peace of mind back but more importantly let's get our businesses back right let's yes. let's get our island back right? That's right wow exactly and kudos to all of a shopping center for being so forward-minded and loving their customers their patrons so much that they would have this sort of an amenity and an uh, agreement with you all to be there to supply this for them so i can't wait to visit back all Moana and um, get myself thoroughly, you know, misted and, and right. rest assured. So I'm excited. So, or just send me an email or a text saying, hey, Miss Lowe, it's up and running. Come and get, you know, desanitized or something. And I'd be there in a flash. And uh, as well as telling all my friends, hey, make sure to stop at that booth because you just want to experience. It's just experiencing, as, as you mentioned, um, a peace of mind. And that in itself, when I leave, whether I, I'm shopped out or I'm loaded down with bags or not, at least I'm, I have peace of mind that I um, experienced at the mall. And what a great experience that is. So thank you guys for offering that and working with the, the mall on that. I can't wait to see it. Absolutely. It's an honor. We are, we're excited. Yeah. 
Okay, and so now I know um, hero. At first, I thought, wait, is it hero or hero? What is it? You know. So, what is the hero, hero, and the sidekick system? And can you explain your easy five philosophy again? Tell us more about that. I was so intrigued. You young men having these kinds of philosophies that you live and <laughs> and work. On. Well, uh, you know, I'm glad to answer that question, Wendy, and really, you know, really excited once again to be able to share, um, you know, our Easy Five methodology. It's like, you know, it stands for easy, effective, efficient, and empower everyone. And we took that and we didn't just apply it to our business uh, philosophy, but we poured it to every single thing that we do. Every system has to pass an Easy Five uh, method, right? So it, it, either it's that, that, like the little kick that you showed earlier that, you know, it's just got this phenomenal situation where you can just sanitize literally any item that you can see. Uh, elevator buttons, wallets, masks, what a phenomenal item to have. Or whether it be a system like, for example, our kick shot, which is going to be a push, a one push button situation. And as you can see here, it sanitizes all types of spaces, right? <laughs> so what, you know, when you look at our systems, our whole idea was to uh, give people that, that, that sanitization with ease, mm -hmm. that, that they could just literally at a push of a button or, as a, or a click of a button, they could go out there and sanitize, whether it's your personal space, maybe it's your shoes, maybe it's your doorway, maybe it's having that, that hypo kick like we have back there at your, at, as, as your, as your COVID bouncer, right? Something to help protect op doorways mm -hmm. or whether it be, uh, you know, like our hero, the hero system that can do total space sanitization up to 20,000 square feet in a matter of minutes. Uh, we, we took these solutions and we found systems that matched and, and created a perfect harmony through the Easy 5 methodology. Wow, that's amazing. So, I mean, I'm excited to go back to your shop or even go to the booth where I can find you guys on the mall there. But you know what, can you, um, how can our viewers get more information? That's what I'm concerned about. I know about you guys. I'm intrigued. How can our viewers get more information and contact you to join the fight with Hero? Uh, absolutely. And once again, thank you so much for having us on today. Um, and thank you to all of the viewers for, for tuning in and you know hearing a little bit about us. But you can come visit us anytime. We're here located in the Ala Moana Shopping Center on the ground floor, uh, located right between Champs and the main food court. You can also check us out on our website, herosystemshawaii.com. Send us an email, info at herosystemshawaii.com, or you can give us a ring, 808-398-2298, and we'll be more than happy to take care of every single one of you folks and all of your ohana in the community. Uh, we also have some really great promotion uh, available that we wanted to throw out to all of ThinkTech Hawaii. If you mention the code THINKTECHHI, uh, we've put together some special pricing and packages for all of the viewers. So just mention that code and we'll be sure to take care of you folks. Okay, so what was that? Think Tech High? Think and you give them a special high. deal? That's okay. right. All right. So again, you know, Miss Paquet over here, right? I'm going to be knocking at your door. I'm going to say, so what's the special deal, bro? Come on, down. Come on. <laughs> yeah. But so like this, guys, I mean, just simple as this. I'm peace of mind, right? Look at this. And I look like mysterious and I'm yet doing a job of sanitizing. <laughs> so I'm so happy to re to have this in my position guys and I'm sure more of Hawaii will be uh, as ecstatic as I am. So at this time guys our time has come to an end and we like to just say mahalo for putting your brains together and making this company happen so that we all can have a peace of mind and have a hero to go home with and so we're very grateful to you. Mahalo. David and Mahalo Dustin for being here with Thanks, us guys. and starting off the year with the solution to the problem. Aloha everyone.